Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you clicked on this video, you already know I'm going through a Sephora haul today. And I'm a little late, but I um, picked up $100 worth of things during the Sephora sale. And I was finishing up my old products, but I definitely knew what I needed um, to replenish. And I was waiting for the sale. And I know there were some things that I wanted to try. And I was also waiting for the sale for that. And let's get right into it. And I'll show you guys what I got. So. Like I said, I spent $100 on this. <laughs> so she got a, she got a big bag. She got, I don't even know how to start. Okay, so first up, I'm not gonna go in any order because this bag is all over the place. Where can I move this stuff? All right. Okay, first up, I got the Sephora number 50 um, Pro Pow Brush Powder. Pro powder brush I don't know pro powder brush um this is a really nice one um I didn't have well I have a big powder brush but I heard this one was a good one so I really wanted to try this um do I have any other brush oh I think I have another brush I should just dump this bag Ooh. girl let me just dump this bag I'm not about to be digging this bag all right <laughs> So, okay, so I have the brush. Um, I also got a um, pro, a number 71 Sephora concealer brush. Uh, this one, I actually looks like this. And there's a bunch of plastic and stuff in the bag, so I'm not even gonna take it out. But um, I actually was just looking at this one and was playing around with it, and that looks like this. And um, this is a really nice, it feels really good. It's a really, really nice concealer brush. So I'm really excited to be using that. I typically use a beauty blender when, um, uh, you know, blending my concealer. So I'd like to use the combination of both. So I'm really excited for that one. All right, so we're doing brush. Okay, I think that's it for brush. Um, if you saw my last video, you'll know that I picked up the Fenty Soft Lit. Now, this wasn't in the Sephora sale, um, but I did just recently pick this up. So I figured I'd put it in the haul. Um, this is the Fenty uh, Soft Lit Naturally Luminous Longwear Foundation, and this is in the shade 485, and I actually have it on my face today, and I really like it, and I'm giving it to the end of the day to see how it performs, but um, I think I found a shade match, and I had trouble finding shade matches um, in the Fenty foundations in the past, so excited for this. Um, what else? Oh, with that, I got the Fenty... And this I actually got in the sale. That's the only thing I got outside the sale. But this one was the Wear Even um, Hydrating Longwear Concealer. And this one looks like this. Um, and this is in the color 450. Oh, I didn't show you what this looked like. This one is like a frosted bottle, I believe. Yeah, frosted bottle, hexagon shape. Um... And this is not frosted, but very pretty, pretty packaging. All right. I also picked up my NARS concealer, and this is in the shade Deep 3 Dark Coffee. And this is my favorite concealer. This is my go-to everyday concealer. I do not wear foundation every day. Um, I usually wear just concealer, set it with a little bit of powder, bronzer, and blush. That is my go-to everyday look when I'm going to work, where I'm going out. Um, and this is the Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this is my favorite concealer, and it's just a perfect match for my skin. And then I picked up, this is the Color Fix Matte, the Nessa Myricks Color Fix Max um, Waterproof Matte Liquid Pigment. And let me try this. Go ahead and open this for y'all. I saw this, and it was so pretty. And I love to wear just bronzer on my lid, so um, anything that's like skin-like, I think is really pretty. And this is the shade up close. Come on now. And um, it's waterproof, and it looked really pretty. I just, like, I swatched it in the store, and I loved it. I could totally see me, um, you know, this being my, like, everyday shadow. I love, look at that color. That's so pretty. I would love to wear that on my lid, and I can't wait. Let me wipe this off before I get brown everywhere. But that is in the color that I tell you guys. That's in the color, what's this color? Chocolate. And it's pretty. I definitely will wear that all the time. I'm gonna get a, a lot of use out of that. 
Um, what else did I pick up as far as makeup? Okay, so the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush in the color Love um, from Rare Beauty. This is so. This is. I love, love. I love the color Love in the Rare Beauty Liquid um, Blush. Love that. Oh, this packaging is so cute. It's gonna get dirty, but it's so cute. Um, here it is. And it just says rare beauty and this is the color look at that y'all that is so pretty okay it's it looks so buttery I don't even want to like put my finger in it <laughs> it's so pretty so oh wait let me tell you about it so it's a an airy silky powder blush that brings instant life to your cheeks with a fresh radiant flush that lasts so this is like a blush and a highlighter and I'm about to kill this this summer oh okay all right let me look at that so you don't have to like layer your blush and then your highlighter and we bring a highlighter back um you could just wear this you know and it's I'm so excited for this this is so pretty this is so pretty I actually bought something that I had second thoughts about and I went and I didn't get this and I went back and got it because I just had to okay is there any other makeup oh and then rare beauty I got the um, rare beauty brow harmony crayon in the color deep brown also have that on my brows today my brows are they're kind of I don't know they're kind of fading probably should have shaded them in but anyway i have that um this is actually becoming my favorite um eyebrow pencil um it just has a natural color like it looks like what my hair it's not too dark it's not too gray some of them are too gray my second favorite or it was my first favorite was the sephora pencil in the color granite but this one was it granite it wasn't granite it was brown but this one this one is by far my favorite i had to get used to the i may have it around here somewhere i don't know but i had to get used to um like the applicator or the pencil i do like that it's a retractable but like it has if you can see um a weird shape and it looks great when you pull it up but let me so you see that it's like a weird shape and i was used to like a rounded skinny tip and but this if you know how to apply it is just chef's kiss all right um what else i think that's it for makeup y'all okay so picked up some sephora um cotton pads um i used to get the ones in target <laughs> but something about them they're very scratchy lately so i was just like um the shadow ones are really nice i found them in tj maxx once um they're really nice. They're really soft. But I figured I'd get some Sephora ones because the other ones were just... They're not doing it. Um, also picked up the Sephora Hydrating... Um, sure? Oh, Brightening Eye Cream. Brightening. It's anti-dark circles, which I definitely need anti-dark circles because I have dark circles. They come a long way. They look pretty... They're decent, but I definitely needed um, a brightening eye cream. Um, and then I picked up the Dennis, Dr. Dennis Gross, um, Universal da Daily Peels. And I got a, um, which one is this? This one is, one of them is ultra sensitive. Oh, gently. This is the gentle one. And this is the regular Daily Peel. And I love these peels. Like, I think they really help with texture in the skin. This is for smoothing fine lines, minimizing the look of pores, and improving the appearance of uneven tones and textures. And I think it does just that. Um, I really like these. I keep these in my... There's a bigger box, but I, I don't know. I just tend to grab these. Um, I have sensitive skin, so I first tried the, the um, gentle one, and then I tried the regular one, and I like them both. Um, but these are really, really good. Helps improve texture of the skin, definitely. What else? Oh, almost done here. Uh, I needed a new um, vitamin C um, brightening serum. And they have this set on sale. This is the Sunday Riley set. And it has the CEO vitamin C brightening serum in it. The, the um, B3 Nice Niacinamide serum. And the Good Genes All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment. And... 
I've used this, um, like I've had a sample or two of this and it's really good. Like your skin looks amazing after that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. See if this vitamin C oil is worth it. But it was $79 and um, that's a steal. You know Sunday Riley's um, products are really expensive. So I figured that was a steal. Love that that came in a set. And then, um, oh. Are we still talking skincare? We're still talking skincare. Okay. So then I got the Fenty Skin Instant Re Instant Reset um, Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. I don't know about gel creams, but um, I heard this was really good. The girlies on TikTok and YouTube and wherever else are telling me that the Instant Reset um, is really good. So I figured I'd give it a try. I love like skincare and... Um, another thing that I bought that I really love is the Fenty Butter Drop. And this makes my skin look amazing. It smells nice. My skin looks luminous and bright. And I just, I wear it every single day. And this is what it looks like. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try the reset. Um, and the packaging is, you know, it comes like this. You need the, um... I guess some kind of like, oh, it's in there. It's in there, the actual thing. So it's just like the um, butter drop where it has like a refillable um, outer shell. And then you just pop that in there. So, and then when that's done, you get another one. Um, and then I um, got the Fatum. Fatum. The Fatum Lactic Acid um, Rice Water uh a h a p h a toner so it's a gentle exfoliator and it's called a cashmere peel so um i heard this was a good one as far as an exfoliator i use the um polish choice exfoliator and i love that if i don't have that here on me right now but if you get it i don't know if i'm gonna like this if i love this then great if not She's going back and I'm getting the gentle, the Polish Choice Exfoliator because I love that one. That one makes my face look and feel great. Um, you have any type of blemish that comes, it literally overnight will reduce the blemish and um, it will reduce dark spots significantly in a short amount of time. So anyway, we're not talking about that one. Um, so this, oh, I called it Fatum, y'all. It's called Edom. Oops. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, it says to use three times a week. I basically do the same for the um, Polish Choice. So we'll give this a try. I don't really like playing with like too many new face products. So my Polish Choice is actually coming like it's almost finished. So I'm going to try this and see if, you know, this is doing a job. If it does what the Polish Choice does. If not, we're going to send her back. Um, and I, oh, lastly, so I love to have some like perfumes in my, um, purse and I got the replica, um, trio set. So these are just like travel size, um, uh, perfumes and they are in the scents bubble bath, beach walk, and when the rain stops. I really wanted to try when the rain stops cause it smelled good in the store, but I get really sick of scents. Like, I can't smell it too long if it's just too strong. I like really light, airy, cotton, linen scents. Um, so all of these are very light scents, and I really like them. So, um, yeah, I figured I'd give them a try. Throw them in your bag. You need a little, like, pick-up, pick-me-up. Yep. Um, so, yeah. And that is all I got. But I will like to make a shout-out to Danessa Myritz. Now, I didn't get this because I do have, oh, kind of being, I do have um, it in, like a good amount left, so I didn't feel like I, need it, I needed it, um, but I have this Yummy Skin Blur, Blurring Balm Powder, and I have it on right now, and it controls oil like nobody's business. It is a beautiful base. I use it as a primer. I've been using it as a primer since last year. And I almost never hit the pan on anything or finish any product. And I have finished this product. Like, this is a 10 out of 10. You need this. You need this. So when you pick up or when you walk into Sephora, make sure you get one of these. Make sure you get one of these. 
make sure you get one of these. I literally just put it in my T-zone. Everything looks smooth. Oils are controlled. Chef's kiss. So, um, yeah, y'all. That's all I got. Oh, all I got. I've been talking for how long now? <laughs> um, that's what I picked up in the Sephora sale. That's my little Sephora haul. And um, I'll let you know how these products are going if they're new to me. And thank you so much for watching. Comment below if you have tried any of these products. If you have any more recommendations. If you know something that's better than what I got today. I'd appreciate it. So let me know below and be sure to subscribe and hit the thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video.